Ah, oh, interestingly, it's still accurate for identical twins, which is not usual in these things. Like, every human has a unique smell, but tw identical twins actually share the same smell, which is quite strange, because usually you have... Uh, identical twins will have the same things, but uh, for tongue twins, it doesn't work that way. This is Hades. Ignore that. Um, first run won't be timed, um, because you have to have a pre-run death uh, to make sure it's not seeded. Um, so I'm, I'm still going to run it and we'll still do it. Uh, In-game time will appear in the top right corner uh, and you'll see that. Uh, we are running Aspect of Eris, which means what we want to do is use a bomb and then be in the location where the bomb hits because that gets us extra attack damage. Um, so here are the things that we care about. This is the Thunder Signet. It makes sure that the first boon we get is a Zeus boon and gives it a chance to be rare or better. That means we can get the Zeus auto attack uh, straight off, which is really strong because it means you clear rooms a lot quicker. This is the Batty Companion given to you by Megara. And the good thing with the Batty Companion is you can't use it on the first boss, but you can use it on any other boss. And it does 2.5k damage just flat, which means you can usually get through the first phase of a boss without, um, without having to actually attack it. Uh, this is what we run through Mirror of Night. Uh, important things here. Faded Persuasion allows us to re-roll some of the boons we get. God's Legacy means we have a 10% chance of getting a Legendary or, or a Duo boon, which is what we really want as the game goes on. I'm now going to shut up as I try and concentrate. Um, I'm just going to dash through these rooms as quickly as we can. Ah, this is bad. So part of the manipulation you want to do in this game is to try and get enemies to spawn on certain parts of the screen by standing in certain corners of the screen. So that's what I was trying to do at the end there, but I f***ed it up. Ah, this is a bad room. Uh, we want Poseidon dash here. No, we're going to reroll. Flowey? Okay, dash is good here. Only one exit, so we just take it straight away. What you can do with exits is you try and... You try and pause the game just as the exit comes up and then you don't waste in-game time. So here we'll go here, see if we can have a look at this. Nothing good there. We want to take shop because that's a free room. We only really want health here. Oh no. I know, uh, so survival rooms don't increase the in-game timer, which is why we don't run the... Um, it come, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but there's a Pact of Punishment that makes it so you only have a certain amount of time to get through uh, a stage. I've stolen from Shawan before, yeah. Uh, we'll take this. Let's take a Pom. So Poms upgrade your current boons. Both of my boons are level 1, uh, which is bad, but I'll see if I can get increased rarity when we go to Asphodel. This is a good room, because uh, all I have to do is survive, and the timer doesn't go up as I survive, so it's actually a super easy room to do. And all I'm going to do is position myself up, probably... Oh, where do I want to position? Do I just take the one room deliberately, or do I position between the two? And then by positioning between the two, give myself the option. And you want to position with about five seconds left, so I'm just going to dash over here quickly, go over here. And then back up here. We'll, we'll just go for this room. So yeah, you can manipulate spawn. So by positioning up here, I know things are going to spawn at least on the top side. And then I can just dash down into them. But because I dash down, I then manipulate the spawns up to the top side, uh, up to bottom side, which is bad. So what I want to make sure is that people don't spawn on the other side of that little gateway thing in the middle. Because that would hard screw me up. Oh, f*** you, man. Why are you up here? Not come party down towards the bottom side, please. Do the LEC team play Path of Exile? No, only really me play. Ah, uh, plays Path of Exile. Only really I play. <laughs> Words. First level, first Asphodel, I guess it's called. Would have liked to be quicker. This is really slow. <laughs> oh, medic! Come on, man. 
Like sub three minutes is what I'm aiming for. Like some of the best people do it like sub two, but I'm not one of the best people. So sub three is usually my aim. This woman gives you a couple of options. Um, usually you want to take Refreshing Nectar. However, uh, I should probably take Refreshing Nectar. So Ambrosia Delight upgrades two of your boons to the next rarity, which would be really good if it hits my Lightning Strike and my Tidal Dash. But I should probably just take Refreshing Nectar and go for the duo boons. What do we say, chat? Do we risk it? Risk it for a biscuit? So it didn't hit either of the ones I wanted it to hit. <sighs> chaos Room, we're on 21, so I don't think we take Chaos Room here. If I'm remembering my rooms right, Chaos would actually be bad for us. We'll check. If there's a shop here, we don't take it. Okay, there's no shop, so I must be remembering my rooms wrong. So Chaos Room is a free room, basically. The timer keeps going, but it's super short. You just dash through, you grab the Chaos Boom, then you switch to the next one. Uh, we should have good shop. Pause. Really bad shop. Okay. Uh, um, we'll go health and health here. I really wanted a uh, Azusa or Poseidon in that shop. But this is actually an okay pace right now. What I really want next is the... Um, is the legendaries. Okay, first section done. Okay, right, we're going to skip the second section using Meg. And then we'll do third section here. We need these guys to come up so we can double team them. That's, uh, yeah, these guys will get double as well. Okay, now third section. He's going to go back to the middle. Go on, Lerny. Thank you. Ah, thank God. Sub five is okay. So if you're not really understanding what's going on, the basic mechanic behind this build is I'm firing the entire time. And I am... Uh, I'm dashing into them and my dashes do damage. Don't care about you. Give me chaos. Oh, what? I'm so close to chaos. I could sell. Oh, you know what I could do? Let's do this. If I sell call, I can then pick up Zeus's call. Um, sorry, Hades called here and get the. Wait, what? Oh, I can't get money. No, oh, I'm an idiot. Uh, my pauper's ambush meant that I can't earn f***ing money, so I sold two items. But it's okay, I only sold call and you re you regularly switch to Hades call here anyway. I lost I lost to the shopkeeper, guys. <laughs> but this is actually my first- where are you? No oh, shit. This is actually my first recorded run, so you guys are part of history here as I make top 50 on my first ever recorded run, guys. I think we rolled. Not what I need right now. Oh yes! Second wave, let's go! So the whole thing behind minion manipulation, like enemy spawn manipulation, is that you don't want the enemies to spawn all over the map because it makes it a lot harder to track them down. As you can see here, like I'm having to look around the entire room to try and find where the enemies are, right? So if I can get them all to spawn on this specific portion of the map near the exit, I can then make sure that I'm like right next to the exit and I can get out quicker, right? Why do I want a speed run? Honestly, I'm just doing it because it's fun to have something I'm good at. like. I'm not a, I've never speedrun in the past. I found a build that I liked, and then um, on my first run, I went from averaging like 25 minutes per run to averaging 15. And then I was like, oh, I want to see how low I can get this now. But you can, like, my quickest two run is like a 10 minute. Oh, All right. I mean, this is going to be a bad run now. Um, not only is the tiny verming the hardest enemy to kill, but it's also, like, it's going to be a three rumor, so. And I actually have to care about poison, so we're gonna dash over here and grab this. Come up, Meg. Thank you. Like, look at how long he takes to come out of his little burrow. He's an absolute poo poo head.
So then you just get him into his first form straight away. Or you don't because you're actually really bad at the game. It's any percent, so you, you choose how... Really? You're going to stealth at the end of the... F okay. So here he goes into his second form. He releases a fiery bolt. We then jump past that. Still getting hit by it because we're bad at the game. Keep dashing. And die again because I'm really not paying too much attention. I'm going to have to just avoid her because I don't want to... I mean, I, it wouldn't really matter if I died, but... It's more fun to actually get a completed run, right? I say die right at the end. Wow. Well, there we go. That's how you die to the final boss, guys. Right. So we switch back to Zeus here. And we go again, guys. Oh. oh, Zeus, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Bad enemy to face, but... Is it? Oh, he takes him out. He takes him out so quickly. What a beast. Uh, Jolted, fine. We're just going to stay in this top corner here. Grab this as soon as we can. Go out here as soon as we can. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have got grabbed. So Armoured Witches are actually, I think, the worst enemy to face on, on the first level, in my opinion. They're just really difficult to deal with. What are you guys talking about in chat? I, all I see is kids are stupid. <laughs> yes, she is. That's a good boss though. 220, okay. 220. Oh, stop dancing away from me! These are one of the worst enemies because they just jump up. Look at that, what a beast. Too early? No. Ah, it's a bad spawn on the snakeheads. So you want to be able to do something like this where I drag them all towards each other and then I can just dash between them. Stop being a loser and you won't get put in loser's queue, mate. That was a very good game. Yes, Sea Storm. Okay, that's what I wanted. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're on MR pace, guys. Medic record pace here. Spawn here again, spawn here again. Ah, yes, stupid. Nice. Okay, guys. Over under on Thanatos getting more than two kills during this whole segment. Just did block meg. He does it from time to time. It's really annoying. I'm sure there's a way you can optimize uh, not getting it blocked, but I'm really bad at not getting it blocked. If I hadn't got it blocked, I think that's a super quick one. Easily killable. We have to kill this guy as well. Okay. Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. It's a second round Seder sack. 
it's not a second round stage attack. Oh. Run. I played it so well. <laughs> in his own fucking darkness. Still a PB. Still a PB. Boy, you speak numbness to anyone. <sighs> Could have been 30 seconds quicker. Yes. Done with time Where does that put me on the leaderboard? That would put me in 39th place. Yeah.